Hello and welcome to the debate on France 24. I'm Andrea Sankey in Paris. Tonight, amending the Constitution, Algeria terminates term limits. Will that tighten the grip of the party in power or protect the country's relative stability? Algerian President Abdelaziz Bouteflika, elected in 1999, has not said he will run for a third time. But he supports ending the two-term limit in order to, quote, enshrine Algeria's democracy and confirm solid and durable institutions. Algeria's parliament voted overwhelmingly in favor, 500 to 21, with eight abstentions. But critics say the vote was not a secret ballot. It was conducted by raising hands, and Bouteflika holds a large majority in parliament. It's also fair to point out that parliamentarians were recently granted a considerable pay raise approved by Bouteflika. So... Does abolishing presidential term limits help or hurt Algeria's arguable democracy? Well, that's one of the questions I will put to my panel tonight. And joining me here in the studio to my right, Amal Boubacar, leader of the Islam and Europe program at the Center for European Policy Studies. Hi, Algeria. Hi. Here to my left, Jean Lemoir, a writer and specialist on Algeria. Via satellite from Geneva, Dr. Mourad Dina, co-founder and member of the Secretariat for the Rashad Movement an Algerian opposition group, and via satellite from Washington, D.C., Scott Carpenter, senior fellow at the Washington Institute and former deputy assistant secretary of state for the Bureau of Near East Affairs. That's the Washington Institute for Near East Policy, by the way. Well, Scott, uh, let me begin with you. Tell me how you think enshrining Algeria's democracy and guaranteeing solid and durable institutions is compatible with ending presidential term limits. Well, whenever you begin to talk about a, a country's constitution, you enter into very sensitive territory uh, for outsiders to comment on. Uh, however, it, it seems to me that this move is uh, a step backwards for Algeria. Uh, the democracy that Algeria has at the moment is very fragile. The institutions are not extremely strong. Uh, the fact that there is so very little political competition uh, does not bode well for uh, Algerian democracy, I think. And the fact that Bouteflika and the, and the military have seen fit to have to extend his uh, term in this way uh, cheapens and undermines, I think, the legitimacy of the democracy there, does not enhance it. As I mentioned uh, in the introduction, Scott, and tell me if, if you agree with critics pointing out that parliamentarians just got uh, recently a very considerable pay raise, that... Uh, Critics are saying Bouteflika, you know, managed to push that through because he knew this vote was coming up and it would be in his party's favor uh, to get the parliamentarians, all of them, on board. Do you agree that that's a, that's a possibility? Well, I, I think that whether there's cause and effect it, it can be questioned, but s s certainly the optics are troubling. Okay. Jean Lemoore, let me ask you the same initial question. Do you see ending presidential term limits as compatible with, you know, enshrining Algeria's democracy? I don't see it as incompatible. Uh, we've just gone through, I have a tendency to look at this situation with a broad angle of vision. In the United States, we've just gone through a period of uh, two mandates, two times four years, which makes eight of deplorable politics. It is not certain that the new incumbent president, the new president, Barack Obama, in his two terms, which will be eight years if he succeeds in being reelected, will be able to make up for all the damage that's been done. And we have to look at these nations differently, and we have to look at the global situation. Democracy itself has gone through some pretty rugged uh, seas recently. So our definition of democracy, we have to be able to apply it to different situations. Uh, President Bouteflika is coming out of a war situation. Many people in uh, Algeria and the opposition parties especially uh, obfuscate themselves and don't like everything being centered on the context, the scenario of coming out of this terrorist period. However, we must look at the situation as it is. Uh, there have been propositions made where the feast party wanted to form a, a new party and present itself. Uh, this has been criticized by American NGOs. We have to ask ourselves, where are we going to place democracy? We look at okay. Palestine, where Hamas was elected, and then after that, we blocked their finances. Well, but, I mean, going back to what you said initially, Ken, is it fair to really compare eight years of, you know, arguably a poor but elected presidency in the United States with changing the constitution of a country 
to yes, ensure that... Yes, I think that so, because uh, the United States, we didn't change our Constitution, but our laws were changed. When you look at things like extraordinary rendition, where we permitted mm -hmm. ourselves to torture people in airplanes, uh, I, think, I don't think we have a foot to stand on. Okay, so, I mean, Emil, is it fair to argue that nobody, especially Western democracies like the United States, are in a position to judge if this is the state of their own democracies? I think Algerian, Algerian deserves a true democracy. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are mature for that. And... Uh, it, it summarized uh, actually two main problems. First, there's no renewal of the elite, and that's something very bad for the future of the country. And second, and it's all related to the first argument, there's no real leadership in Algeria because the re-election of the president, Boutfika, doesn't mean that we have a strong authoritarian leadership, such as the one that you can find in Tunisia, for example. You don't have a concrete project of society that the president is able or willing to apply. There's just a kind of statu quo that is maintained between various clans uh, that are all ruling the country currently in Algeria, and it's not fruitful for the country, and it's not fruitful for, for the political arena in the country. Okay. Murad, uh, joining us from Geneva. First of all, tell me what your response was uh, upon hearing the news that the Constitution amendment was passed by the Parliament in order to uh, abolish presidential term limits. Well, the, uh, I think that the picture is quite clear to anybody who would uh, look objectively uh, to the situation in Algeria. Uh, Bouteflika has just one aim as a person, is to die as president. He may not or does not accept for himself to be, to finish his life in another position. So, but that's his personal stand. This has been uh, used by the true regime in Algeria, which at, has at its core the uh, uh, military intelligence, which has been ruling Algeria ever since the eve of independence. And uh, we have clear questions. I mean, this move cannot be a move for democracy because anybody who would think about uh, making democracy stronger in this country would first begin by lifting the emergency, the emergency state in Algeria, which prohibits any political life in the country. So, and then there are also technical problems with this change. Uh, Article 176 of the Algerian Constitution forbids any major overhaul of the Constitution, uh, most notably, which would uh, touch upon the uh, big uh, picture of the Algerian political system. So what has Bouteflika done uh, apart from those cosmetic changes relating to rights of women and writing history, he wants to enshrine in the Constitution the right to the government and the government alone to write the Algerian history. This well, has, of course, uh, known reasons. He wants to, uh, to create a new uh, a position of prime minister, may, maybe uh, uh, vice prime ministers. He wants to change the relation between the presidency, okay. the prime minister, the Murad, parliament. Before you go any further, this is though, you're, touching you're... the core of the constitution. This okay. cannot be done according to the current constitution only through a referendum. Okay, but let me just point out your, your point that, that you were making on women, another you know, strong, strength, they say, of this constitutional amendment uh, is that it also guarantees the representation of women in politics in Algeria. So if I mean, this, this is all, these are just our fake messages. The, the rights of women are guaranteed by the international conventions which have been signed by Algeria, the uh, International Convention for Political and Civil Rights, which... Uh, grants the, uh, the equality, the political equality, among other things, between women and men. So okay. and we don't really see what's, what, will add, what this article will add. This is only to put in some, some nice things added to the core of the change, which is granting life presidency to Bouteflika. Okay, Scott, I know you had a comment, but um, Murad, I just wanted to ask you this one question. You know, Bouteflika's supporters say uh, that even if the regime is not perfect, what it does guarantee is a prevention of the alternative, which is allowing Islamist groups like your former party to come to, par to power in Algeria. H how do you respond to that? Well, I think uh, he, we could not be in, in a worse situation today. And we see that uh, the, the terrorism is still uh, living in Algeria. There is, I mean, a lot of concern about what will come out of this country. Uh, all the, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, observers of the situation would agree that Algeria is now a major threat first 
to its political stability and union, and also to its neighbors, to the whole region. Okay. And Bouteflika will not change anything because, as I said, he is not at the core of the regime. The core of the regime remains with the military intelligence, which has its own agenda and would not give power to any democratic, democratically elected uh, okay. government. I know we have some responses. Let me get to Scott first and then Amel. Scott, go ahead. Well, I think a constitutional process uh, is very much a, a d discussion amongst people about what the, the nature of their s state should look like. It is a social contract that the people of Algeria should have with its people or, for that matter, the United States should have with its government. Uh, the fact that this, this procedure was done in such a ham-handed way